tried to envision you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon. And a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here too. Well, why would you not expect it, right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do. To become the Olympic gold medalist, to becoming the heavyweight world champion, to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed, unbelievable footwork, but it won't be those gifts that allow him to find success in the UFC. He's gonna have to mix everything up. Sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world. Felt like this was the next professional challenge. Perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for. Muhammad Ali gracing the octagon here today. for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This field, this felt like an eventuality. Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much. He loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Inside the octagon, he is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Muhammad Ali! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mike Tyson! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, well, this is a dream matchup in combat sports that fans have been fantasizing about for years. It shall be done tonight. We will have the upper hand between Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. We're underway. This is one of the ones that we almost got. The errors barely missed each other. Muhammad Ali was at the tail end when Mike Tyson was ascending into who he became to the world of boxing. We finally get these two, and we get these two inside the UFC's octagon. It's a dream matchup between two of the best boxers of all time as Mike Tyson takes on the GOAT, Muhammad Ali. Lands a big right hand early. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Nice little short uppercut there. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Tyson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> all right, so a little bit of a pedestrian start to this fight about a minute in. Not much action on either side. Is that a feeling out process? What do you see? John, you just woke me up. <laughs> Born in here. Come on, get to work. Press the button. All move button. Bang on him and start creating some action. He gets to the single collar tie. Hook in the flare on his opponent by pulling the head down. 
and punching with the free hand. So there it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Ali's got a cut on the ball. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. That's a right hand. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to reveal the record. He should have got the record. So Ironman. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Body shot. Oh, nice block. Nice. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Now some separation. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Tyson's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Oh, body shot. Those are digging. Take down right now. Just misses with the left hook. Tyson's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Tries to work it into a takedown. Straight to the body there by Ali. Under 20 seconds now to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. in the books. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, left hook. Oh, a beautiful jab there by Ali. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes. Oh! Oh, him again. That hook was bad. This might be the biggest shot of 
this entire fight, he landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Tyson's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think... Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iron Mike Tyson! So big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but since crossing over from boxing, it has been all systems go for the former boxing champion, Iron Mike Tyson, showing you that the power definitely translates here to the octagon. You can argue this is his biggest UFC win to date.